All right, let's calculate the area of a few different triangles here. Um, I've got three different triangles, three different situations I'm going to put you in, and they progress in difficulty. Um, the last one, if it's if it's a little a little too much, don't worry about it. Um, the first two should be should be pretty clear. So the area of a triangle is one half um, times the base of the triangle times the height, and um, the base is really um, you can call any side of the triangle the base uh, but usually it's easier to um, call the side of the triangle that looks like the base that looks like the bottom um, to call it the base so like in this triangle um, it's kind of this side is sort of sitting on the bottom here so we're going to call that the base and then the height of the triangle is the distance from that base to the corner of the triangle that's opposite it so um, this corner is of the triangle is sort of pointing to this base and the height would be the distance from there to the um, corner to the vertex of the, um, the triangle that's right there across so that's kind of the technical definition of of height and base but a lot of times um, you don't need to think too much about height and base so for example in this problem here just find the area of a triangle with height 4 and base 6. So if you have a problem like that, you don't really need to figure out what, what's the base, what's the height, yada yada. They, di they just tell you. So you just follow the area formula. A area is equal to um, 1 half um, base, so in this case 6, times height, in this case 4. So um, 1 half times 6 is 3. Uh, times 4, make that look like a 3, times 4 is equal to 12. 12 uh, units squared, whatever the units are, um, 12 units squared. So if they just give you the height and give you the base, boom, just plug it into the formula, 1 half base times height. Okay, the second kind of situation you might find yourself in is like this, uh, where you have a right triangle. And in this case, um, they don't tell you what the base is, they don't tell you what the height is, but they're easy to just um, find. So the base would be um, this side on the bottom. So let's count um, Let's count the units here. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. So in this case, the base is six units. Um, let's call these meters. Let's just, just do a little support of the metric system here. We'll call this, we'll call these six meters. Um, and then the height is this side, the, the side that's shooting straight up out of the base. So um, the height is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 uh, meters. Okay, so now that you've picked out the height and base, uh, now you can just plug and chug. So we've got the area of this triangle is 1 half um, base would be 6, um, height would be five. One half times six times five. So one half of six is three um, times five is equal to fifteen meters uh, squared. Sorry that says M. Uh, it kind of looks like a, a bird that's flying really far away in, in the in a sunset. Um, fifteen meters squared would be the area or the uh, amount of inside space of this triangle. Alright, so those are pretty easy. So if they just tell you what the height and base are, boom, just plug and chug. If they give you a right triangle where it's obvious what the base and height are, um, just figure out the lengths of the the, uh, the base and the height, you're good to go. Uh, what if they give you a triangle though where, the, um, where you have to pick a base and then you have to calculate the height. Uh, so we're going to do that here. Um, and yeah, so let's let's just let's just go for it. So I've got an equilateral triangle um, where all the sides are seven um, meters. I think we decided these units were um, seven. I should pick a unit that I can actually write. That looks okay. Seven meters, um, and these little dashes or ticks show that uh, that these side lengths are the same as uh, this side length. So seven. 7 meters, 7 meters. Okay, so let's call this the base. 
So base is 7. Uh, but we don't have the height. We don't have an obvious uh, side that's just shooting straight up out of the base where it forms a 90 degree angle like that. Okay, so we need to we need to make one. So what you can do is so the so the height of this triangle would be the perpendicular distance from the base to the corner of the triangle that's opposite it. So the way I look at this is something like if you imagine this this vertex shooting straight across at a side uh, which side is it shooting straight across at uh, this this base so um, so the height of the triangle would be the distance from this uh, vertex to the base and the distance we would do such that it would form a 90 degree oops form a 90 degree angle there so in other words I wouldn't I wouldn't want to ha wouldn't want to have a, a distance that was something like um, you know from there to this point that doesn't form a 90 degree angle and that's a that's a longer distance and that's an even longer distance that's a that's a long distance there we want the shortest distance from the vertex to its opposite base and that shortest distance forms a, a, a 90 degree angle. The height, or in other words, the height and base are perpendicular to each other. So we form this, this straight line here, and that's going to be the height of the triangle. And we need to figure out what is that height. Okay, it's, it's not labeled for us, we just created it, and we have to calculate the, the height. So what we can do is we can notice that the height forms or splits this triangle into two um right triangles okay so this this makes a 90 degree angle here and what we can do is we can use the pythagorean theorem to figure out the height of this little triangle here okay so let's just um kind of look at this triangle separately and i'm not exactly drawing it perfectly um uh, but we're going to so this is the side length is seven. I don't know if the one I drew here is exactly seven uh, meters or what, but um, pretend pretend that it is. So we're just we're just looking at this triangle separately so that we can figure out what this missing side is, and that'll be the height of this triangle that we started with. Okay, so this is uh, uh, has a length of seven. The hypotenuse of this triangle is seven meters. Um, this side length is half of uh, seven. So 3.5, and this we don't know. This is the height. We're gonna we're gonna figure this out. So the Pythagorean theorem says um, this side squared plus this side squared is equal to this side squared. So a a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Um, so 3.5 squared plus our missing side squared. Um, the height is equal to 7 squared. Okay, so 7 squared, 7 times 7 is 49, and 3.5 squared, let's just do that on the old calculator here, times 3.5 is 12.25, um, so 12.25 plus x squared is equal to 49, I want to get x by itself, so let's Let's get this 12.25 out of here. So we're just going to subtract that away. We're going to do that to both sides of the equation. So x squared is now by itself over here is equal to uh, 49 minus 12.25. Um, 49 minus 12.25 is equal to 36.75. Now that's x squared, or that's this side length squared. So to find out what this actual side length is, we'll square root both sides of the equation. Um, in other words, what squared is equal to 36.75? So let's just uh, square root that. I have a square root button here. Couldn't find it on that calculator, so I'm just doing it on this one. Square root. So 6.06. .06. Um, so let's say let's say roughly six. So um, x is roughly 6. 
Uh, we're just gonna we're gonna estimate here um, six point something. Okay, so that was the length of this triangle, which is the same as the height of this triangle because we pulled this out. Okay, so the height of this triangle we now know is about six. So the area of this whole triangle is um, one half base times height. So um, seven times six is 42, and half of that is equal to 21. And we'll do 21 meters squared, because our unit is meters.